Greetings, YouTubers. This is Proudfoots. I am still talking about some of the issues raised in the book Crimes Against Logic by philosopher Jamie White. Now, in the first chapter, he talks about whether or not we have the right to our own opinion. And the example he chose was when a discussion about possible motivations for George Bush to invade Iraq between Jack and Jill uh, that neither one can convince the other of their point of view and Jack says well I have the right to my own opinion and obviously Jill has the right to her own opinion and neither one convinces the other he thinks no um, we don't have the right to our own opinion. He says that we should be convinced if we come across somebody who has an argument that we can't at that moment counter. So if we run into an expert, we run into an authority, we run into somebody who's a glib debater, we should be just changing our mind every time we bump into somebody that maybe has something that we haven't considered or something that we can't at that moment quite put our finger on what's the fallacy involved anyway so he goes immediately from that chapter to the next chapter where he discusses the motive fallacy which basically uh, white claims that motives are irrelevant to the discussion of truth value of um, an issue. Um, he continues with his uh, Bush example by saying that it is irrelevant what President Bush's or the Bush administration's motives might have been for the invasion of Iraq because it might turn out to be a good thing anyway. I feel like the reason people are interested in motives is because uh, people know that uh, one's motivation is an important thing in determining whether someone is supporting uh, something for reasons of they arrive to this point by logical means or they may be advancing an argument not because it's a good policy but because they have a motive uh, an example I used is um, experts hired by tobacco companies to tell us that smoking was harmless or smoking was not addictive now that's a case where the motive explains why these people lied why these people supported with all their expertise and all their wonderful arguments propositions that were false and I think in the discussion with the Iraq war that we have reasons to suspect bad motivations when the arguments put forward by the Bush administration turned out to be lie after lie after lie. Therefore I don't think motivations are completely irrelevant in any discussion about policies or what people are doing. Now another factor that we need to take into account is um, when White says well we might be doing the right thing for the wrong reasons that is, I think, a problem in the sense that, well, why should we ever ask for justifications at all? We should just do stuff. And it might turn out to be right anyway. I mean, if Bush's reasons for invading Iraq, in his White's example, he says, well, what if Bush got bad service at an Iraqi restaurant and that's why he's invading Iraq? Well, if that's an ample justification for the war or that, then why doesn't he make that public? The fact that someone is 
presenting arguments they don't believe in in order to advance their agenda, uh, their agenda of personal hatred or an agenda of revenge or an agenda of uh, I want to take these people's oil or something uh, that that's important that's important information I mean I think it's a really casuistry to say well it might turn out to be good anyway well you know da 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 you know it was uh, it was good that, um, let's say, um, the Nazis uh, committed those crimes against the Jews because something good came out of it. We got the state of Israel. Well, that's wonderful. You know, they did something for the wrong reasons, but it turned out all right. I mean, I don't think that's going to fly. Um, and... Another difficulty with White's book, Crimes Against Logic, is that, well, he says, well, discussing people's motives uh, is not germane to any argument, is that White indulges in this. Uh, he talks about uh, Tony Blair's possible motivations for opposition to fox hunting in England. Well, if motives are irrelevant, then why talk about, oh, he's trying to please these voters, or he's trying, these voters are opposed to fox hunting because they have envy of rich people or something like that. Why is he bringing this up in one chapter when in an earlier chapter he says discussion of motivations are off the table? Uh, clearly, he is inconsistent. Now, just because he's inconsistent doesn't necessarily mean he's wrong on one part or the other but he has to choose when there's an inconsistency he has to either say motivations are off the table and then not engage in that or he has to say that motivations are on the table ignore that second chapter of my book where I said you know motivation is off the table I guess it's only off the table when it's discussion of let's say George Bush's attack in Iraq but it's on the table when it talks about um, closing down fox hunting. Um, he does engage in these sort of ad hominem attacks against people that he is uh, choosing as his examples. Uh, when he talks about uh, religion, he uh, talks about people uh, wrapping towels on their heads and uttering strange incantations. Well, is that really germane to the truth value of what the people are saying? It doesn't matter. I mean, a towel on the head is kind of like um, a really insulting uh, characterization of somebody. And it, I don't think it has any place in a book supposed to be about logic. I think it is actually a crime against logic that he is committing. Um, he also talks about religionists, uh, their possible motivation uh, uh, for their beliefs uh, that they get a thrill of the cosmic heebie-jeebies. You know, why talk about motives when in your second chapter you say, no, motives are off the table. So I think that's an inconsistency that his editors didn't catch and he didn't catch or perhaps he just kind of hoped that by the time he made those attacks on people for their motivations that we would forget that he dedicated his second chapter to the fallacy of motivation anyway um this is proudfoots thanks for listening